Good evening, everybody. My name is Zayman Perez for Rosemont News here at the Rosemont High School Gymnasium. And I'm here tonight to bring you the Senior Award Ceremony. It's a ceremony dedicated to the seniors, a class of 2013. And it is a, a ceremony that will consist of a slideshow that shows the memories of the seniors throughout this year, along with the awards that will be presented to um, various students acknowledging their achievements and their awards throughout the year for different reasons and various accomplishments and um, it's looking to get started here we have the parents of the seniors on the left and family and friends all coming in right here we have in front of me we have the teachers and staff and organizations here to help support the seniors and over here on the far right next to the projector we have the some of the seniors coming in now and taking their seats and we're looking to get started here momentarily Indeed, grateful for one particular person tonight, Dina, who has jumped through hoops amazingly because of her little baby. <laughs> Our counselor is a grandma recently, so uh, Dina took over for us and kind of threw everything to Greg, which has been doing a wonderful job. Um, I, once again, I've asked staff members, I've talked to them, I've asked them to tell me what they thought about the seniors, not just what I've seen, but what they've recognized, and they said they know what they're doing. Another example of them knowing what they're doing, what their plans are in the future, is that little insert that you have a little, you know, since I'm a boy, I'm going to call it green. I don't know what official color it is, we can ask the ladies next to us, but... But um, look at that, they've got plans, they've got focuses, they've got um, dreams. And that right there proves that uh, this senior class is special. And that's what they, I can keep telling you guys, this is what they're telling me. But uh, at this time, I get a distinct opportunity to uh, thank you all for being here. And then to start our program with our Scholastic Awards. At this time, I'm going to introduce our meritorious development program. Um, has done many things. Besides being an MVP in cross country, he's a CSF member, a Mathletes member, Science Club member, American Cancer Society. He's a volunteer at the Grace Resource Center. He plans on going to USC, and he's planning on doing something which I could never imagine, and the philosophy of engineering, uh, biomedical or something like that. It's, it's about me. I'm just a principal. This, is, this guy's going to be making a fortune in the future, or just loving life. Currently he holds a 4.21. And it's my opportunity to introduce David Velasquez. Recipients, if you can all stand up here, what I'm going to read your name, Anthony Fernandez. Cameron Crossgrove. Madeline Fournette. And Isabel Kirsch. Now these four have done an outstanding job all year long. They've got bright plans for the future, and I want to congratulate them and let's congratulate them all. the advisor to California Scholarship Federation. I love being the advisor for this club because I get to work with the best students on campus. And we have eight life members, which means they've been members of CSF. And CSF is something you have to qualify for by grades and taking high level courses, or what we refer to as rigorous curriculum. And life membership means they've been a member at least four times between their sophomore and senior year. They also will be sporting these fine gold cords and a gold tassel as well as a pin. 
And all of them did volunteer work, so they'll also be wearing a gold robe. So against those white and red robes, they're going to really stand out. So at this time, I'm going to present the awards. Christina Manning. Javier Maza. Tim Witten. Thank you. 
for the Marines and the Army will receive $250 each from the RHSF. These students have to meet stringent requirements such as a minimum 3.5 grade point average unweighted for their sophomore, junior, and senior years. They also have to be involved in multiple athletic groups and in extracurricular activities. Our male student athlete of the year is David Velasquez. Have a chance to practice my 
my Spanish here. Excelencia in la clase de Espanol Cuatro, Javier Maza. student I want to recognize. I'm recognizing him for a stupendous achievement in AD Calculus. 
He's also going to be getting a uh, um, recognition for participating in mathletes. My mathletes have to come to school once a week before school even starts. They have to show up at 7 a.m. for a half hour practice and then before every competition they have to come every day for a week to get ready for our competitions. Um, we compete every month. Um, and this is Ivan Lopez. He's also one of my mathletes, and uh, he gets something that's really nerdy. He gets a uh, mathletes letter. Now, uh, this is a lot more prestigious than any athletic letter, because we only give it to 15 mathletes in our whole league of 12 schools. It's not like if you're on the varsity team, you get the letter. Only 15 kids in the whole 12 league team get it, and this is for David Velasquez. Calculus. I really enjoyed having him in my classes for the last three years. That's Anthony Hernandez. Okay, the last award I'm giving out is um, from the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. Uh, this is from the California Council. Um, this is for a student who uh, demonstrates four qualities. Um, unusual and sustained interest in mathematics. The student I'm going to recognize wasn't actually in my class this year. Um, so he came in in the mornings to get ready for the second year AP Calculus test, which he took. And I'm um, pretty sure he did very well. We won't find out until July. So he has sustained interest in mathematics. Demonstration of creativity in the application of mathematical concepts. Outstanding achievement in mathematics coursework and excellence as demonstrated in competition. This student was our highest scoring mathlete this year. Um, he came in third in the league, and that is Byron Gray. Statistics. And I was the lucky one who got to develop the curriculum and teach this new course. And there were two students in particular of the 11 that completed that stood out, really helped not only me, but the entire class. Um, they're the kind of students that you read their tests first to make sure that your answer key is correct. Um, those two students are David Velasquez and Ivan Lopez. many of them for classes that I'm not teaching this year. We have awards for AP Biology, for Physics, for Improvement in Physics, and for Improvement in Chemistry. You'll have to bear with me after that. I've got a small request to ask of you, about 90 seconds of your time. Somebody back there knows what's coming with this, and you will be highly entertained by science, believe it or not. For the two awards in Academic Excellence for AP Biology, we have Sophie Shreshkoff and Alicia Dr. A good role model for others who have struggled through hard science classes, we have Fernando Salinas. two years of effort for the course, struggled an awful lot last year, and then absolutely has aced the class this year for improvement in chemistry, Jonathan Alvarez. <laughs> I'll do this in front of the class. I've offered a song for them to sing. You guys know what's coming. Tom Lair, a Harvard professor, went on the road for a while back in the 1970s, and he sang an Element song. Some of you are aware of this song. The guy who plays Harry Potter has done it on TV before. Uh, I asked the young man who did this for me in class yesterday, if he would, or two days ago, if he would please do this as an entertainment for you guys tonight. 
to show that it is not impossible to memorize this song. He raised his grade 6% by doing this extra credit and popped himself into an A. So I'm proud to pronounce or announce Juan Banuelos. Good evening. Um, like Mr. Action said, I'm about to sing a song right now. Right? You know, I'm not that good of a voice, so no judging, please. Um, Alright. One, two. <laughs> Alright, no, I'm sorry. Wait. There is antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and uranium, and nickel, and aluminum, and tungsten, and germanium, and iron, and racing, and dimmium, and uranium, rope, and zircon, and cesium, and vanadium, and after the knowledge, we have an access to uranium, and gold, 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 there is a tiny atom in the middle of the border galaxy, and I am in the middle of the stars. The sun is the silver and the mercury, and the nickel and the lithium, and the gold and the iron. You guys entertained over the last <laughs> time? There's all the helium, half the mercury, the fractions of grains, and the chlorine, and the turbine, the manganese, and mercury, and the liquid, and the and the sprosing, and the scandium, and the zirium, and the cesium, and the lepers, and the lithium, and the platinum, and the sodium, the palladium, and the methane, and the potassium, and the aluminum, and the thallium, and the cesium, and the titanium, and the sodium, and the cadmium, and the calcium, and the chromium, and the curium. There are sulfur, California, and the fervor, and the culium, and the muscle, and the labium, and the excitement, and the mobilium, and the iron, and the unreal, and the unreal, and the thick, and the chlorine, and the cobalt, and the tungsten, and the sodium. These are the only ones that listen, and says, come to Harvard. And there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. <laughs> yes, put this in there, Ron, because social studies ends in the fifth grade. Um, Ms. Blessing and Mr. Ross, please. <laughs>
Eric Hemsley. Is way advanced. He's he knows a lot. Really good. Ask good questions. Really good student. Cody. Cody Baba. Bela. Now Cody. Cody is one of the best students, and a special reason why. She learns quickly and asks really good questions. So I always take the time to explain additional information to Cody. Amazing. Along with doing all her work, she did additional work. So good job, Ricky. Okay, Manny does all the work all the time. Mr. Alex, I need to get it done because I have other things to do. So she always do her work, get it out of the way, and get an A doing it. Good job, Manny. <laughs> Fernando Diaz. <laughs> Frizzy. <laughs> Fernando Diaz. Andre is a very good student. Andre gets it done, knows it well, and good job well. And it's impressed by her work. Andre is a really good student. She knows that tell all the time. Good job, Andre. <laughs> Joey, I'm impressed by him because Joey knows the answer. He looked at the question and said, Mr. Rallis, let's just put this together. He comes up with an answer. Never, never understood how he gets the answers, but he comes up with it and gets it right. Good job, Joey. Darnie works up and above. He's always there to help when I need help. Good job, Darnie. She's not here. <laughs> Last but not least, Janine Williams. impressed me, does all my work, and started her own project, which she didn't have to do. So she went over and above for a job. Good job, Janine. Thank you. Good evening. Every year, the Amagani Hospital Auxiliary gives 10 $1,000 scholarships to deserving students who are going to pursue a career in a healthcare field. It is my honor tonight to present Ms. Laura Ayala with a $1,000 scholarship. We started the uh, scholarship 
fund uh, several years ago. And uh, it's hard to get a lot of money to, to give away, but we managed to scrape up $600. And out of all the uh, contestants or applications, I would like to award this to Shannon Collett. Chosen 
as a recipient of the $500 Pay Shear Memorial Scholarship, Kirsten Kutzman. is our Cash for College scholarship. And this scholarship is given to a student who has demonstrated perseverance in, who has pursued uh, financial aid with all their heart. Um, this student showed up to Cash for College night and was always on top of the questions that she needed to ask to complete her FAFSA. And it gives me great pleasure to award this $1,000 scholarship to Lindsay Rodriguez. And the full amount is given as the student progresses through college, and the, the recipient is Holly Ann Thorne. <laughs> Beyond the Cash for College scholarships, I'm also awarding two scholarships for the San Joaquin Achievers Networks. And these are for students who have shown perseverance in their studies and efforts to succeed after high school at community colleges, CSUs, or UCs. Um, they are in the amount of $1,000 to $3,000 based on financial need. And these are both going to two gentlemen you're probably familiar with at this point. Ivan Lopez and David Velasquez. should be commended for their commitment to you. As part of the selection process, we ask the applicants to answer the following question. Uh, why is renewable energy vital to the United States and how does it affect me? Our first recipient states, renewable energy is an important part of our developing society. We are constantly developing new forms of technology and transportation that require use of some form of energy. Uh, this bright young student participated in track and field, dance club, drama club, and a member of the marching band while maintaining a 4.2 GPA. Our first recipient is Anthony Hernandez. He has passed and she had a nickname for me because I was a student here while she was working. And Mr. Reader knows what it is, but we're not going to say. If you want to know, I mean, you can ask him. But if you come to school and, and tell me what my nickname was, you're in big trouble. There's fines for all of you. Got it? It is with great pleasure that I give Ms. Sophie Cherish off this award tonight. Baseball player here at Roseman 
uh, and a pitcher for West Hills College. Uh, Brett worked real hard at sports, academics. More than anything, his faith was the most important part of his life. And Brett achieved all that um, while battling courageously type 1 diabetes. So our annual alumni game and baseball clinic uh, supports this scholarship and the battle against type 1 diabetes. And we'd like to thank all of you for supporting that. And also the Roseland Community Queens this year who raised $1,000 to help. Uh, this year we've chosen two recipients that model Brett's passion for sports, diligence in academics, uh, community involvement, faith, perseverance in adversity, and a desire to continue on education. And we hope to help these students take their first step towards our future. Our first recipient is a four-year uh, Roseman softball player, a member on the principal's honors roll, a little league coach, ASB officer, and plans to attend college to pursue a career as a nurse practitioner, and that's Shannon Cobble. is a four-year Rosen baseball player, uh, not, having not previously played baseball prior to high school. He has excelled and become an all-league selection, a Larry Lake all-star selection, and has also been selected to play summer collegiate baseball with the Major League Baseball Academy. Uh, his hard work ethic, character, and diligence are known to all who know him. And he is one of the finest individuals I've ever had the pleasure to coach, and that's Evan Tucinian.
guys will go really far in life, and I'm all about the party. So we're going to have a slide show, punch, and uh, goodies in the back there. So thank you, everyone. My name is Zane Press, Rosemont News. I'm here at the Senior Awards Ceremony. Afterwards, after receiving what I believe to be the most awards in the senior class, we have Dave Velasquez here in his nice white, white vest, black shirt, and Mickey Mouse tie. Dave Velasquez is also one of my close friends, and it's an honor to be interviewing him once again. It never stops, or at least it seems to not. Uh, David, tell me about your awards and how you're feeling right now. Oh man, I feel great. Like, you know, I came here just like uh, not expecting anything, you know. Like I didn't know if I was gonna get anything. I was hoping I would, but you know, you, you never know. So I just came here, you know, just to be with friends and stuff, and then see what see what happens. And then you know, it, I just heard my name being called up every once in a while, and that was just really it was just really nice to you know earn all that after four years of hard work, you know, just running hard, pouring, you know, throwing everything out there, and then working hard, you know, homework long nights, staying up. All of that stuff, you know, it's finally paying off, and you know, I, can't, I can't be any happier. And I gotta thank God, thank my parents, thank all my friends, you know, you, everyone else out there that supported me throughout you know, high school. And I, just, I can't believe it. You know, I'm really surprised that I got all of this. I'm really happy. All right, man. Tell me, tell me. Uh, from I know you got a lot. You know, you got a lot of awards. You got up a couple of times. I think that's the most I've seen you like. You know, travel as far as running as we ran together. You know, so you know, I gotta ask. You know, what was some of the awards? You tell us. Tell us about the awards you won. If you don't remember any. Yeah, uh, I won a, a couple of awards. Like uh, Casey gave me the Calso. He awarded me the Calso award. You know, you have to apply to it for it, and then uh, they look at your academics, your dedication to school, your um, your. Uh, the uh, extracurriculars that you participate in, if you volunteer, and how, how, how much uh, financial need that you really need for college. So uh, most of the awards were about you know academics and stuff. I got a, a couple of awards for also sports and for being a leader, which you know really helped out. I like to you know, be out there and help you guys out and everything. So I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, the awards come from that. All right, man. Well. You know, like I've, I've been around, you know, and I've seen I've seen you do all your sports, you know, running mostly, you know, and you've done great showing your support. And obviously, as you can tell by what we just saw, doing great, also showing your academics. And it's my pleasure to bring you out there to the Rosemont community. And I'm sure all of us, you know, for the seniors of class 2013, personally speaking, we're going to miss you. I know you're going to do great things, though, at USC, man. You're going to make your trademark where you need to be. You know, and uh, what's something that you want to say lastly, you know, to your class or to your teachers? You know, what's something you can leave us with, you know, before I stop interviewing you forever? And uh, for, like, my class, you know, the students and everything, I say keep, tr keep trying, work hard. Sophie Cherishkov. Sophie, can you tell us a little about the award you just received? Um, I got an award from Mr. Caprio, and it was um, awarded from somebody who passed away when she was there, and um, it was very special to me to receive that. All right, great. Well, you know, I've seen you out there doing your thing for softball, and now you're out here also showing that you have academic capabilities, and it's great. Um, you know, you're a senior, you're also one of my friends, and I'm going to miss you, you know, and it's going to be, it's, it's been great, it's been a great time, you know, what's something, what's some of the stuff you can say about, you know, senior year and how it's been for you? I think the senior year has been great, um, I've had so many, I've had so much fun, and all of my friends have made it just so wonderful, and I really love the senior class, everybody is just so cool, and I'm going to miss a lot of people from here. Alright, now like I said, I talked to you about sports, and now we're talking about academics, what's something you can tell about, you know, kids that coming up in a high school about academics, you know, so they can try to achieve and shoot far for like awards such as these. I believe that it really is not that hard to strive in academics. I just think that you have to put the effort into it because a lot of kids just won't take the time or I don't need to do this or I don't want to do that and it's not fun and it's going to be work but if you put the effort into it and you try, I can guarantee that you'll win something. All 
right, great. And um, as far as teachers that were here, um, what's some of the teachers that you can say motivated you or, or helped you in, in your high school career? Besides teachers, was there anything else that motivated you? Your parents, you know, anybody like that? Family members? Yeah, my parents were very hard on me, making sure that I always did what I had to do to get the grades that I got. And um, it was also more motivation from within because I wanted to make not only everybody else proud, but myself as well. So. All right. And what are your plans after high school? I'm going to Sonoma State University, and I'm going to study to be a physical therapist. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I wish you the best luck in your future. Thank you. All right, I'm also here once again with Ivan Lopez. Saw him recently at CIF Prelims running his 800, doing his best, and now you see him here academically achieving at the Senior Awards. Ivan, tell me about the awards you received. Uh, I got a couple of awards for some scholarships that I signed up for uh, throughout the school year, and uh, a really big CIF scholarship, I mean, uh, award that I'll be wearing like all right, great. And uh, how do you feel being able to achieve that in academics, you know? How does that make you feel? It feels really good, especially knowing that uh, these past four years of high school has really secured my future, you know? Like, I could go to the college of my dreams, and from there, it's like I could do whatever I want. All right. I understand you're going to UCLA. And how do you feel about going to UCLA? You know, you said it's your college of your dreams, so you got to tell me, how is it going for you emotionally knowing you're going to be able to go there? I'm excited, like, I can't believe it's actually happening and it's so close. Uh, um, I'm going to go next month for my orientation and that's going to be amazing, you know, I get to get the feel for actually uh, going there and living in the dorms, meeting the people that I'm going to be spending the next four years of my life around, you know, and uh, it's amazing knowing that all that hard work paid off because I've been wanting to go there like ever since freshman year and now I'm actually going to go there and I'm going to be living my dream. All right, great. Well, I'm glad you treated your dream, Ivan. I really am. You know, you've been a close friend of mine, you know, for a while. And it's great to see, you know, doing what you want to do. Um, you know, what's, uh, what's something you can say motivated you? Teachers, family, what's your motivation throughout high school? Everybody, dude. Um, my teachers, definitely. My friends, my family. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I am today. I owe them everything. Like, they helped me become who I am. I owe them everything. All right, man. Well, best of luck to you, like I said. Hope you achieve your goals and you keep prospering on, even through it, you being at your dream school. We're here now with Isabel Kirsch. Isabel, can you tell me a little about the award you just won right now? Well, I won an award from the United States Marine Corps for academic excellence, and I also won an award for being, like, getting excellence in English class. And that's pretty much it, but a lot of my friends won awards, and I'm really proud of them, too. All right. Well, I'm sure they are proud of you. You know, so how are you feeling, you know, about winning these awards, you know, being here right now, you know, being with all your friends, how's that making you feel emotionally right now? Oh well, yeah, it feels great, but yeah, I'm really emotional because we were about to graduate, and I don't know if this is the last time we're going to see them, so I'm very emotional, but I'm happy at the same time. Alright, well that's great to hear. You know, um, this is all about academics for the most part. You know, it's all, you come out here and you, you win, you get awards for different reasons. It's all, it comes off academics, you know, we've seen you play sports, and now you're out here, you know, showing that you also have academic achievements to be proud of. And um, who, what would you say motivates you the most? Teachers, parents, family? Um, honestly, I guess, well, it's a lot of people, like my parents, obviously, have always pushed me to get good grades, but I'm mostly just motivated myself. Like, I just always wanted to make something big of myself, and I knew that I had to get good grades and work hard to do that. So, I always just had to push myself, and teachers help too, but... All right, great. And um, what are you doing after high school? What's your plan for after high school? Um, I'm going to Cal Lutheran to study communication, and we'll see where it goes from there. I'm kind of not sure like exactly where I want to go, but I think that's a good start for me. All right, great. And what's something you can share? You know, is now you're senior and you're graduating, and you've been here all four years. What's something you can say to the to um, the young boys and girls that have come up in high school, to to that they want to achieve academically? What's something you can give them knowledge? Um, I would just say like don't get sucked into like you know partying and stuff like have fun but like focus on your academics because that's going to get you far in life so
so don't don't get too crazy. That's all I, I would tell them. All right, great. Well, Isabel, it's been a pleasure knowing you in high school. You've been a friend of mine, and I thank you for your time now, and I wish you the best of luck in your future.